How you doing? Doing well. Good. Thursday Thursday morning, a uh, week after Thanksgiving. Yeah. Still coming out of the trip to fan. Yeah. Kinda, hey, he's re-entry in that week after. I hear you. It's all a blur to me. We had the Black Friday and all that other stuff. Oh yeah, you know? yeah. So. Uh, big big sales. Lots of yeah. We did a we did a video a while ago on we're getting into Christmas. Yeah. And so I think there was a video we'll maybe linked to that or something about. Um, you know, great accessories yeah. and, you know, stocking stuff or ideas for we did acoustic guitar players. Year. I've been buying a bunch of the wall hangers, you know, yep. which is, I got all these cases and trying to get my instruments up off because they, first off, they look cool yep. when they're on the wall, but it also, yeah, but get some don't forget the about dryness. No, I bought, and I bought a, a little room humidifier. Okay, good. Yeah. We've good, had that good, conversation good. before. Yes, we have. I see a lot of broken guitars, and people go, but I did, I humidified it. And it's Not like, enough. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you did on this one, really. Yeah. No, I, so. I got the I got the, uh, the cool air humidifier, and I got yeah. the hygrometer. Did yeah. I say that right? Yeah. So it'll tell me. And what did you say was kind of preferred? 45. 45? Somewhere in there. Okay. I mean, that's ideal. Yikes. Or you're not there, are you? No, I'm not. I'm not. You better work on it. I am. All right, folks. Don't forget, humidify your guitars. Well, yeah, if you're in one of these if you're dry, in a dry climates, climate, of course. If you're, yeah. you know, Mid Atlantic, uh, Gulf Coast, Florida, yeah. probably not a big. Then like, do it gets Just to a point right where you have to know your humidity. Sometimes you do. Yeah. Sometimes you don't the want guitars will swell up. Okay. Nice shirt. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I wore this again uh, because somebody had mentioned, hey, where's that cool shirt? So yeah. the acoustic layer. I actually really like this shirt. It's very comfortable. It, it looks very nice. Uh, if you're watching the videos, depending on which ads are sh you're, you're seeing beneath the video, yep. down there, there's a little uh, strip of ad that's advertising some music villa, and you can get these acoustic letter shirts. Or, right. Or, and they uh, just drop ship them right to you. Yeah. Right? Teespring, I think, is yeah. the company. They've got some very options. Very cool. And we're still... I'm still working with the guys. I think we're going to come up with some type of like a acoustic letter scavenger hunt where we'll ask some, like maybe five trivia questions yep. about videos we've done, and yep. uh, depending on how many responses we'll get, maybe we'll we'll ship out some some shirts. Pe folks could email us their size. We'll like work it. on that, and that'll be coming out. Uh, I dig it. I hopefully like be it. before Christmas, but if not, we'll get it sometime around the. F the new year. Cool. I love these guitars just because you know I'm not saying there's anything special about this cotton, but I feel like it protects. Did you say you love these guitars? The, the, well, I, I like the shirt because oh. I feel like it protects uh, guitars from oh, I buckle you. scratch yeah, and other yeah. things. Speaking so of guitars, what are we doing here? Yeah, right. this is. I'm definitely making sure I'm covering okay. the buckle for this guitar. Oh, fancy one. This is so we. I don't know if folks are noticing the the theme here today, but we've got uh, John Walker, John Walker, Kevin Cop. Kevin Cop, and a very Kevin nationally Ryan. renowned luthier. Mr. is Kevin Ryan. Kevin right? Ryan. Yes. Yep. Southern California. Southern California. This is yes. the Abbey Grand Parlor. Um, came in used. Came in used. These are all used instruments, right? Because right. Yes. we talked yeah, about they're all. They're all used, yeah. And they're all custom builders. So Right. So um, kind of getting away from the, the big brands that we typically do. Wanted to do something different. But these Kevin Ryan's made, a, a, I, I believe, a huge name for himself. I think nationally. so. You um, know. I had not heard of him until this came in, you know, mm -hmm. um, you know, I know I, you know, I deal in guitars, but you don't always hear of every, every boutique builder. Yeah. Right? I, mean, there's I mean, there's a lot of them out there <laughs> and, uh, this one came in the store. I had never seen one. So, mm -hmm. uh, this came in the store. We started looking into it and looking up Kevin Ryan. Sounds like he was in the aerospace industry for a while. Started in like 1987, building <laughs> guitars. Yeah, uh, so. you could definitely see some aerospace engineering oh, yeah. features like this, uh, the the beveled, you know, uh, beveled armrest kind of with the with little arrow holes yeah. in them. Yeah, so I, I like to think that this is when you're swinging to smack over somebody's head. That's you don't get the wind resistance; it, it cuts through the air oh, faster. Nice. Yeah. When you gotta break it over somebody. Just kidding. The uh, you gotta look inside of this thing. Yeah. Go hopefully on his we'll website. We'll get some and images, see, yeah. but the bracing is, I don't know. It looks like advanced sp space yeah. shuttle architecture. It very does. It reminds me of like walking into a really cool like museum in New York City. Like yeah, a very, yeah. No, I hear you. You know, it's it's definitely got that um, architectural look and feel on mm -hmm. the inside. Well, it's just and it's just beautifully put together. It is. It really is pretty. Everything from the pens, you know, to the the woods. We're we're uh, coming in like this. We're not exactly sure what the woods are. Uh, it appears to be some sort of mahogany or something. Maybe I a mahogany with it, it, you know. And I'm terrible at picking out spruces. I would. 
suspect maybe it's Adirondack or something. What do you think? Can you tell mm, the distinction? No. I would say it's either Sitka or Engelman. Sitka or Engelman, yes. Okay. Well, there you go. I ran. If I say enough si spruces, eventually I might hit the right one. <laughs> but it's, uh, I mean, a beautiful inlay. Uh, uh, yeah. Every, you know, the everything is precise. I mean, you can just see the, you know, from the fretwork. I know these, the scale length is kind of the little bit, like they call it like an extended scale length or something. Mm -hmm. So it's a little more than like, it's 25 something, but it's, on a small body guitar, mm -hmm. sp let's hear it. It's supposed okay. to get like a lot of punch. Well, like it's, I mean, I would say you, it, it's gonna do what a parlor does, which is, and I'm trying to be gentle because if you're familiar with uh, Kevin Ryan guitars, they are a premium yeah. top end instrument. And uh, there's a price involved with that. I won't say what it is, but it's, Right, this is in the category of guitar where I don't want to add any blemishes to it, you know. Which is all guitars, but this one in particular, again, because I don't have that liability insurance. It's uh, nice. It's midi and punchy. Uh, I could probably dig in a little bit more. I'm trying to be gentle, but it's I don't know. It's well balanced. You yeah. say that about a lot of guitars, it almost becomes cliche to say that it's right. well balanced. But uh, I mean that it's 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 not going to be boomy like like right. these big dogs back here. It is a parlor guitar, so you're getting that mid range. But there's a lot of clarity. It's very playable. It's very comfortable to play. I love yeah. these beveled things. I think everybody should put those in. Yeah. Uh, that's, Cool. Well, you know what we'll do is we'll put it, you know, we don't sell these guitars, uh, but this one is in the store used right now. What we'll do is we'll put a link to uh, Kevin Ryan's website or something. Yeah. You can kind of see what he's done here. And, yeah, he's got uh, some really, his website's pretty neat. He's got uh, some interesting design features. And, you know, I just think it's, whether it's Taylor with V bracing, whether it's Kevin Ryan with his clearly yeah. distinct uh, assembly and, and features, appointments, um, it's it's neat to see that these instruments that have been around for a long, long time are still evolving. Uh, folks are out there trying to make them better, always moving forward. Yeah. So very it's cool. cool. And this I is like it. It's just beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful guitar. It is. Well, thanks, Quinn. You bet. That is the Kevin Ryan Abbey Abbey, Abbey Parlor Grand Parlor. Cool. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for watching.